Caleb Plant, Trevor McCombie. Yeah. Yo, yeah. it was the fight that I never knew I wanted. That was a movie, huh? Yo, salute to Brad, man, yeah. for the adjustments. Great yeah. fucking job. Yeah. Great fight, man. That was, that was the adjustment to make, though. You know what I mean? Like, anybody that understand boxing a little bit, like, all right, I can't keep getting caught on the end of this shit. Smother that man. Press that man. You know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker punching. He hit Caleb Plant on the shoulder and almost knocked him out the ring. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of strength we talking about here. He hit Caleb Plant with a right hand. Caleb Plant tried to grab him and then there spun out his shoes. That's the kind of power we talking about here. This motherfucker not playing. So go ahead and smother that man. Make sure he ain't able to get nothing off and wear his ass out. Caleb Plant, at the same time, that showed his levels. Like, I mean, he can he can really step on the gas and switch gears and really take it somewhere else. And, that's, and I also felt like that was great for Caleb Plant to go through because it let him know that he could still do that. Like, I can, you can pick it up, bro. Pick it up. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody ain't gonna let you be cute behind your jab and steal shots. No. You gotta, you gotta kick his ass. You know what I mean? But I was, I was glad that fight went that way because both men learned something about themselves and it was just a, it was just a great matchup. Great matchup. And I, and I said that. When you put two white boys in the ring, they're gonna, they gonna go at each other. I don't know what it is. They get yo, right to it. Yo, yeah. they didn't like each other at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I pay attention to shit, bro, and I might and I might pay attention too much. But every time I see two white boys get matched up, they try to smoke each other. Yo. Every time, bro. But every time. It's like it's three types of white boys, right? Mm -hmm. There's the Trevor McCombie, yeah, right, dude that look like he, you no, know, he's selling crystal meth. Yeah, for sure. Caleb look like. <laughs> He sell a mean batch of coke, and then there, there's the white boy from the suburbs. It seemed like they just didn't like each other from the rip. Yeah. I mean, listen, man, to, to all the promoters out there, man, you want to put on a great fight, go get you two white boys, man. They're going to rumble, man. They, I swear to God, I don't know what that is. I've been seeing that since the amateurs. When you put two white boys in the ring, they try to smoke each other every time. I, I never miss with that. I never miss. So I knew what that was going to be. Um, Trevor McCombie at the same time he put 168 on notice though y'all better stop playing yo. because that motherfucker could punch and if you ain't got your hands up and if you ain't ready he gonna wear you the fuck out cause he's strong if you're not a lead level fighter Trevor McCombie's gonna get you Caleb Plant even though he lost to Canelo even though he lost to Benavidez he proved that like yo if you if you ain't top top Hall of Fame top yeah. Caleb's gonna get you yeah yeah and, 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 you know, like I said, overall, that that took that that took the card for a different spin. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I miss Roley fight, but that took the card for a different type of spin. Like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Great fight, man.